Status. I'm just fabulous today. I just feel good. So there you go. <laughs> right. yeah. Catrice Bailey, MMA Model Management. Oh, we got Catrice here today. Dave Scott, Professor Harkham College. Got Harkham in the house today to all my people um, here with Shelly Shell as we celebrate our anniversary, right? Today is February 25th. We started our first show on February 25th, 2012. So yes, wow. it is our five year anniversary. Wow. Same day. Same day. Wow. Yes. <laughs> So yes, happy anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Dave, owner of Diamonds and Rough Consulting and also known as the Soulmate Specialist. And I am Danielle Patterson. And as y'all know, we still ain't met the man ready, willing, and able to handle all, all of this. this right here. I know, been five years and I'm still in the same situation, but Danielle for judge. I'm out here campaigning and running. Danielle for judge. Danielle for judge. Who needs a husband when you're Danielle for judge? Here comes the judge. I think by the time this airs, she will be judge. Yeah, probably, actually. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I will be. Yeah, yeah. by the time this airs, we're just going to claim that, put it in that atmosphere that she will be judge. But today is a great day. It's five-year anniversary. And today's topic, we have, it's a two-part, of course. The topic is chemistry versus preference. And um, I'm not going to put the person's <laughs> name out here. And it was based off of a conversation that some people have a preference. And doesn't matter about the chemistry. Like, you could be so good together, but if you have a preference, meaning you like light skin, you like dark skin, you don't like fat, you like skinny, they'll rather go for the preference as opposed to chemistry. I'm not going to put the person's name out there, but we had that deep conversation. He's not watching me right now, but anyway, we had that deep conversation. But what do you, what do you think? Preference versus chemistry? Chemistry is very important. So do you have a preference like they can't be fat, they can't be skinny, they can't be tall? They, you know, do you have like a preference that you will not come, come off of? No, it's really not. I really don't have a preference. I, I can do a teddy bear. I can do someone tall, short. It really doesn't matter. It depends on how you treat me. That's the main thing. Okay, how about you, David? I want chemistry, but I want it to be sexy. You know, it's something about sexy that you got to have. That little so that's a preference. Sexy. That's no, 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 wait, preference. wait, 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 wait. If we got chemistry, there's going to be sexiness attached to it. That's automatic for me. Right, Dave? Yeah. Not that Dave, we want sexy. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. No, what do you want? Preference? Well, out of the two, you know, me. The, those two, no, I don't know ne you. neither are not enough. That's right. Neither are not enough. However, if you made me choose out of those two, I would say chemistry over preference. But I, but Dave's uh, answer is actually that, that's that's a tight answer because if you if you're if you have chemistry, they will be your preference. Of, if not right away, eventually. Not necessarily. If you don't get past nope, your preference, nope, 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 nobody, 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 nope. I'm nope, just saying, nope, nope. no, there's a, there are things you find attractive and there are things you just don't. And if you don't find those things attractive, it don't matter how much chemistry. Example, the dude who belly hanging over his penis, I'm never going to find him attractive. There's never going to be any chemistry because I am not looking, pick, lifting any of that up. <laughs> Y'all all know this year five, and y'all know I got a rule. My hip hurt, my legs don't open so wide. That's not sexy for me. It's, there's gonna be no chemistry. I'ma just be like, dude, keep it stepping. By the Danielle for judge. So it's preference. <laughs> so, so Danielle, if you, you say you want preference. No, you that, I'm saying to you, see, okay, Shelly and I had this argument because she says it's a preference. I said it's not a, it's not a preference. It is what I am physically attacked, attracted to go. that's going to get my juices flowing to make me want to even find out if there's chemistry. Dude. I mean, if, you know, it's we're we always say that men are visual. Well, women are visual too. I mean, and, and when I say that, I mean like, hey, there are men that smell like sex. Like everything about them when they walk into a room is like, yeah, he gets <coughs> you know, it ain't you, Dave. But somebody feel that way about you, but not for me. I'm just, but I'm just saying, you know, there are people that you have that kind of instant attraction to. And I'm just saying that the dude that I'm going to have an instant attraction to is never going to be 
like 300 pounds and looking like, you know, he got a begut. I'm never going to find that attractive. Never, ever, not ever, never. Okay. I don't care. But I still feel like, and because we, oh, ooh, on. stop. You got two eyes, so, you they know. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. But because. That's a, that's a term. We got a, that, that's a, a begut. begut. A begut. A begut. A begut. A when I your gut's bigger like than your butt, like a begut. A like begut. The butt then move forward. You know, and so now you got a begut. I'm just saying. But there are some people who love the begut. So, but all I'm saying is, you, I think some people are missing out. Like the person I was talking to, I feel like he's missing out on his chemistry. I think he's missing out on a person who would really. But no, match but Shelly, see, just this because is, you no. can't get, get because you can't get past weight. No, but see, no, see, I think that you get it twisted. Like, okay, so you're on this thing. Like, okay, I think they'd be so perfect together because I see their chemistry. But what you see is. Their chemistry as friends and chemistry as friends does not always equal chemistry as lovers not always sometimes sometimes it does but not always if if the two people don't find each other attractive and you don't see each other that way I mean come on we talk about the friend zone all the time we talk about how once you kind of put people in a box they can't get out of it they cannot escape right. the indoors box we talked about all of those things so I understand that you see them and you see the interaction and you be like that'd be so great but if I don't see it it's not great for me. All right, you know what? Let me take a vote. Those in this room that believe in chemistry over preference, raise your hand. All right, see, now we're looking at Okay. And no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chemistry. Everybody chemistry. want chemistry, raise your hand. Chemistry. Keep it up for me. Let me see. Let chemistry. Me vote. Chemistry. Chemistry. All right. All right. I wanted to see that to see is that the majority? It is the majority because I'm telling you, when you get with somebody, it, it, if you're not compatible it's not going to work i want somebody who is like like we decent together like we rolling but together there's a process to get there just you, the there has to be an attraction attraction there has to be an attraction that chemistry has the chemistry is going to be based on some level of attraction like i said it does not always even just physical so it's sometimes yeah. something about the intellect about the way yeah. somebody moves Both. about the way somebody talks to you they can be on several different That's levels right. But you don't have 40, 50, 60 year marriages off of preference because those things change. That's right. The image change. It, you, you're going to get older. 10 years from now, you're going to And you know what? Different. As you get older, 20 something years from now, else 30 years from now, 40 happens. years from now. So what do you do then? Do you drop what you have and go to another preference? Well, you can go get another wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's my Cal Coles. <laughs> He's here. But uh, we are talking about... Oh, go ahead, David. I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You the, but Gutton got him but, laughing. Nah, it's, 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 this is good so far. Um, <laughs> but chemistry... When, when you start, it, is it preference when you're young, then as you get older and more mature and more secure in life, then it switches over to chemistry, or does it start early? Get to, get to drop that I, on there. I would agree. Um, so, so if we're talking about relationship, like for actual relationship, long lasting, long term things, you need chemistry. You can't, if, you, if we're just looking at those two things, because obviously I say there's much, much more. Th those are both just the basic, really. Yes. Real talk, those are both very things. basic. But if we're, since we're looking at those two topics um, and those two factors, you have to look at what's short term versus long term. Now, if you just want to smash, then you're going to go for your preferences. Right, because all you all you're doing is keeping it surface, keeping it super basic. But if you want to go a little bit beyond super basic into regular <laughs> basic, then you need chemistry. Chemistry is what helps. It's really chemistry out of uh, Torrey Roberts' five keys. That and I, I consider him a brother in my in my work and in my ministry. He gives the five keys of identifying a soulmate. The five keys are chemistry, connection, wholeness or equal yoke them, purpose and God's word. Now most people don't get nowhere near the God's word part. But I say if you if you can't make it and you don't have the faith, you don't believe all of that stuff of God's word, which is what I say to do. If you don't have that, at least have the first four before getting married. But that we're talking about marriage. So if you're trying to just smash, we're not even talking on that level. So okay, go for David, your preferences. But do you think that 
your preference is going to dictate to some extent who you have chemistry with. Good question. Yeah, we're going to go degree. to wait, they're, wait, they're we're going to go to a break. We're going to find out when we come back. TGI Fridays, 4006 Ave. We have a new person in the building, Naomi Natural. She has natural soap, natural skin care. You can look her up on Facebook, Naomi Naturals, Naomi Naturals. So look her up on Facebook, and I'm going to be all natural with my skin care, right? We're going to do that? We're going to do no. that. All right, TGI Fridays, what time is it? All right, let's go. Hey, everybody, you're on the set of Single on a Saturday Night, and we always bring you new and exciting things. We have to thank Nyambi. Am I saying it right? It's Nyambi. Nyambi Naturals. She has natural soap and lotions. Tell us about it. Yes, Nyambi Naturals is a holistic health and wellness company, and uh, we focus on connecting people to the earth as their natural source of uh, true healing. And so all of the products are handmade. It is a family company, and uh, we have body butters, which are, you know, really good for the skin, a concentrated moisture that actually hair and body butter. Uh, we also have soap products, we have sugar scrubs, we have healing bath salts, and um, we're doing demonstrations today too, so she come by. Yeah, she's behind you doing a demonstration. Tasha over there, she look, she look, she can't get enough of it right there. She's so excited. They are so excited about Nyambi. Nyambi. You're on Facebook, right? Tell us, tell us how to spell it. Yes, it's N Y A M B I Naturals, and that's the handle for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Nyambi Naturals. Yes. I'm ready to check her out. Tasha's too excited over there. This is single on a Saturday night. Thank you for coming out and joining us and being a part of it. Did you like it? This was your first experience. Yes, I actually enjoyed it. I did. It was really interesting. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Single on a Saturday night. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. It's at single on a Saturday night TV.com. On a Saturday night, right here at TGI Fridays. Howard Gilliam is on the camera right now. Doc Smitty is on the camera right now. And this is how we do every fourth Saturday. And what was your question before the break? Well, what I asked is whether or not your preference is going to dictate to some extent who you have chemistry with. Yeah, I agree. Like, the, those two are really connected. It's hard to separate the two mm -hmm. because. Chemistry will lead to connect, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, will lead to your preference and your preferences will be tied in. Because cause if, if you have a preference, then, and you meet somebody who you have a preference, that's going to kind of dictate your chemistry to a degree. And vice versa, if you have chemistry with somebody, that's why I said eventually, if they're already not your preference physically, you will find, like I think you were saying over time, you were saying that, you find, when things change physically, you find other things that are attractive about that person. Other things become sexy to you, appealing to you, whatever, about that person. So they really are connected, but if, for sake of this discussion today, if you separate the two, I would say put chemistry over your preferences. Except for when somebody has a yuck mouth. If they have a yuck mouth, stay away from it. Okay, just, I'm just, that's not even a preference, that's just a sign of bad health. That's a yuck mouth. Because for me, that's, Shelly says that's my preference. And I say no, that's a part of chemistry. Because when I see somebody and they got a yuck mouth, I think that they heart got plaque build up, and their gums got plaque build up, <laughs> and I think their breath might stink, and I think I don't want them to kiss nothing up top or down below. I think all them things. So that becomes a part of why there's never going to be any chemistry. I'm not even sure. I mean, I get it. Preference, I'm not, I don't look that deep, and I don't, whether you have, I don't want you to have no teeth, but I'm not looking. What if they only got the two in the front? <laughs> nah, because I see it. that a lot. You can't everybody think the two in the front is good enough, but then they open their mouth That's and it's, they all missing in the back. They whole piano keys is missing. No, you can't. Oh have piano my keys. gosh! No, oh. no, 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 no! I, but, I don't think I've ever met but a man. So how do you get chemistry on site? Is it just that I'm factor? Is it chemistry or is it just that I'm factor? That I'm acquiring minds want to know. You're curious. Is it curiosity or is it chemistry? It's, I mean, when you meet somebody, of course, you're looking at something and you're, you're attracted to them. But I think that I, I, sometimes I look, I'm trying to look beyond what I, I did. Uh, back in the day, I did have a preference. They what had to be it? a, I'm, I'm with Danielle. I wanted a thinner guy with a nice build because I'm a big girl. So Light I wanted the dark skin. 
Didn't matter what light skin, dark skin. Doesn't matter. It just they just had to be Boogie built. Boy, that just had to be built. Uh, <laughs> well, see, I'm gonna tell you. So my, my aunt went out and she like 400 pounds, what? and she married this man that's like 600 pounds. And I'm gonna just say to you that when our mother first saw them, she said, "How does the bed hold them?" And they got married, and the bed broke immediately. It's like it's on the floor, and we and we were like downstairs in the living room, like at Thanksgiving. And the bed came through the floor. What? So I'ma just say that some stuff just don't need to happen. Sometimes, you know, two of the biggest people together don't need to get together. I, don't, I just think they lay in the bed and feed each other. Like I think that's sex. I don't I know. Mean, that I was mean, that was a thousand pounds between <laughs> both of them. Like that that bed had to be strong like a month. But listen, as I as I'm as I'm listening to the conversation, I'm I'm even thinking about really physical attraction has to come before chemistry. When you really think about it, because unless you're talking about situations That's where, where the preference comes your in, friends David. already, That's right? That's where the preference because comes in. Because if you're talking about situations where you meet somebody out, right, most people don't even approach somebody unless there's a physical attraction. So to even get to the chemistry part, which comes from some level of conversation, you can only get to that if there's a certain level of attraction first. So in the friendship piece, what builds the chemistry the, regardless of the uh, attraction is the fact that they are already having conversation. So they start to find, oh, we have some chemistry, and then the person has to decide, okay, is this more important to me than the fact that they, they might have a begut? You know what I mean? And I'm saying that as you, as you develop further, some, and as you get older and as you mature, you know, certain things are much more important than the physical thing. However, we all understand that, that there should be a certain level of attraction. Well, oh, go, I was going to say that um, physical attraction is important. It might get you, but it doesn't keep you. Exactly. And preference is the same as saying standards. So you have to have standards because chemistry works, but everybody you're with isn't going to be everybody you want to spend the rest of your life with. So that's where the difference comes in. You have to ask yourself, what are you looking for? Someone to kick it with now or someone to build with later? If you're trying to build, you're going to go with preferences because you know where you're trying to go. If you're trying to have fun, then you're going to go with a chemical attraction. I prefer to have both. You got to have, you have to have um, the chemi chemistry for me because I'm not going to, I'm just, I just don't, I won't do it. But you also have to have standards and goals and have a vision, you know, two-year plan, five-year plan, where you're going, because that's not going to work. So, like, if you say either or, that's like 50-50. 50, 50. 50 means you fail. So I need both. Uh -oh. Oh, I like that. I like that. Go ahead. 50 means you fail. And I think it's different for everybody, because I know I'm very social, believe it or not. Oh, believe it or not. But I'm very social, and I talk to a lot of people, and I don't really go off of looks. I really don't even pay attention to your looks. I really just talk to you. And then right there, that chemistry. What did somebody just say? Uh, lies? <laughs> <laughs> that was DJ Smooth no, that said it's lies. True. It's true. And then from there, I determine if I have chemistry. And, I, and it's funny because a lot of people find chemistry with me, but I don't find chemistry with them. And then it's it it, it goes I can't back and see, forth. I can't see you saying not look at looks. Even though I'm saying I would rather have chemistry, I do look at looks. I mean, but I'm not being particular with the with the certain things. I I did, I will go with someone with a begut now. Now oh, that wasn't my preference before, but now I just see. I just well, you know why that is, Shelly. Why is that? I'm gonna tell you what my nana told me. What she tell you? So from 18 to 25. <laughs> is who you want. I'm 21, remember? From 25 to 30, is who wants you. And at the 30, is who the hell can I get? So, you know. I, I ain't never heard it broke down like that. <laughs> there you go. So, you know, can you repeat all that there, stuff, yeah. I'm just saying, from 18 to 25, repeat that. is who you want. What? And who from you 25 want? to 30, is who, who wants you. you. Okay. And at the 30, is who the hell can I get? Okay. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that a lot of things that with standards and preferences start going out the window real quick, and the, the pickings start getting slimmer, as you just start to go through some things, at the point, it's just going to be like, look, is he walking? Does it get different? No, but you know no, what? No, actually, no, because when I was in a wheelchair, I had three boyfriends. They was all willing to push me around. So I think they really didn't care about walking at that point. It was like she got all her teeth, and she pretty, and she put on makeup and get her hair done in the wheelchair. I still take you to the Borgata. 
So, you know. Now, I don't feel like there's anybody I can get. I just want, I'm really particular now. I really just want to be able to have somebody who I can be friends with that is on my, I don't mean to say on my level, but I really do mean on a level of where I am. Like you said, goals, ambition. We fun, we can chill, we but can go But how do y'all get there? Do you, are you being fair to allow him in to prove himself to be that man? How do you get to the point of You fun? can tell whether somebody has goals and ambition. It don't take but a but one no, conversation. No, 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 you got no, a, you got no, a no, court. No. You got a court. You, you know, some goals? people can hide themselves for six months, a year, and oh, two Lord, years. Oh, Lord, you right. I can't. You right. <laughs> like, now look, do you want me to tell you the story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh no, 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 you right. Oh, you wait, right, with that me. face, we need to hear the story. <laughs> <laughs> that's for another show. Sure, that's <laughs> You're right, people can't hide it, but I just, I'm just looking for something deeper now that has to be, we just gotta be cool. If I got a whole bunch of friends, and I got a lot of friends, a lot of people, everybody here, my friend, I want somebody that can go around, somebody that's not gonna, that's not afraid to come around things like this. That's, maybe that's what you want. Maybe somebody else want the homebody that's home taking care of the house while they at the show. No, I'm, that, what I'm looking for. But I'm just saying, it's like, okay, but you also had to get to the point that you knew that's what you wanted because you did some other things that you then figured out that's what you wanted. Right, but I Dr. Did. Dave say the key thing. Are you communicating enough to get to those points you're talking about? No. That's where the issue comes. All right, we're going to go <laughs> to a break right now. Uh, this is Single on a Saturday Night. Thank you to Howard Gilliam Jr., New Video Production. Of course, Groove Boy Entertainment. He takes the pictures. You can go to his um, Facebook page, Groove Boy Entertainment, and you can see every page. February 25th, 2012, picture, five, five years, five years. It is a, it is amazing to make it this far with the same people. That, you know what? Those TV shows about all that fighting and stuff is a lie because that's not how it goes down. Five years to be able to be together this long, this is deep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to Naomi Naturals. Check her out. She got the soap. She got the lotion. Whatever it is you like natural products, she has it. Go to our Facebook page, Naomi Naturals. Go Howard, go Howard, go Howard, go, go, go Howard, he looks tired, ho, ho, go, ho. He 
me feel good. Yay! Woo! Thank you. Welcome back to Single on a Saturday Night. Wow, you just witnessed Patrice Hawthorne. Her music is available on iTunes. iTunes right now, Patrice Hawthorne. Her voice is amazing. She sings like an angel. Thank you so much for that performance. We're going to get back into the questions. We have audience comments. Go ahead, Tequila. Hello. I have like a comment, basically. Um, a preference. When I was young, back in my heyday, I had a preference. I'm six foot one, okay? I normally prefer someone who's at least six feet or over. Right now, I'm in my 40s, and I'm like, who's ever ready, willing, and able, okay? <laughs> to climb the mountain. <laughs> right. That's what I tell them too, girl. Basically, and the short guy, I was kind of like, had him underneath the rugs. I wasn't too sure to bring him out, because I was too, you know, insecure by his height. The chemistry was really there with us, but my preference wasn't there, because I prefer him to be taller and a little thicker, okay? And about the gut and the butt, I don't mind a little gut, as long as I can see your pee pee, okay? <laughs> I'm fine with it. I gotta long see your pee pee. As long as I can see everything. And it's not a lot of work. If you I don't want to have to lift it up. I don't like want to lift it up. And... I don't want to do all that, okay? That's all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> all right. But, but see, you know, I'm gonna tell you. she said that the, uh, the chemistry was there, but she didn't like the height, so that means it didn't work out because of oh he's still around he is still around so it did work out she just don't want to take the pocket you know how like that tv show girlfriends the pocket dot she didn't want to go out with him that's what it reminds me of but i personally don't like short men and i'm a very short woman but i don't like short men i think they have that complex thing and they all want to yeah. uh -oh. we're gonna have a microphone we're gonna let uh we're gonna let wanda go and then we'll pass the back i wanted to ask the doctor and dave what do you all think about the 18 to 25, 25 to 30 and 40? Because guys don't think like that. And me, I don't ever think I have to just go with whatever, you know, and I'm over 30. I just think at certain times, as most men, I'm going to stress the word, most men don't have the fear of getting older. Um, getting older, we still feel as though there's going to be some woman who wants us. Where I know in my communication with women, especially when they get over 40, someone worried about weight worrying about being themselves. Men feel as though our gut can sit out here and our hairline can go back here. Some woman's going to want us. As long as we still are employed, have a place to stay, and have a vehicle to get around. I don't have the fear that, oh, I ain't gonna have nobody. As a man, my fear is not in that place. Um, for, for me, I, I agree with Dave. Uh, in general, a lot of dudes don't have the same concern at the same level but it depends on the guy. So I'm noticing as I'm getting older, I don't feel, I'm looking at some of my pictures. Actually, you know how Facebook does the them throwback joins and it shows like three years ago, four years, I was like, dang. You was buff and sexy. Was, and then I now like, I'm trying to tell you, because five years ago, I was like, ooh, hey. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, hey. Even things things change for everybody. So I'm I'm even noticing, you know, my bag. I got more bags under my eyes, more wrinkles in my face, more, you know, gray hair. And and now I have to look at it as, oh, I'm more distinguished. And you have to look at it a different way. But you do notice that some of the things that you once held or was once held as some of your attractive features, they change as you get older. So I, I think it depends on the guy. But I agree with Dave that in comparison to women, it's not as hard for a guy when he gets older and things change for him to continue to get a certain amount of females because, I mean, out here in the dating world, it's what, 14 to 1? So when we get older and features change, what, it drops down to what, 7? That's still, if it drops to 7 to 1, that's still pretty good odds for most guys. So that's, that's but, unfortunately but wait, okay, the difference. So I've heard Dave now say this for the last five years. And I must, I'm gonna disagree with you this time. Go ahead. Because this, you said, what you say at the end is, some woman is still going to want you. 
hell, some man is still going to want me. But am I going to want him? No. I mean, because what you just said is some. It's, it's somebody yeah. that always wants anybody, yeah. you know. But again, he got the begutney toothless. Remember, I don't want him. It's if investment not, or mess with. No, somebody going to no. want you. He may yeah. mess with you, but, but no, he going to claim but you. But what you always say is that it doesn't matter if my gut is out here, my hairline is back there. Well, it don't matter if my gut sit out further than my boobs. There is going to be some man who going to push that out the way, baby. I got you. There's going to be some man who's going to want that. But it does not mean that he is going to be attractive to me. Because we back to what Nana said. Then you take in what you can get. And I just want, because you, you just wanted to say that that's untrue for men. I think that Dave is more clear is that when we live in the realities of ourselves, we do recognize that we're changing, evolving, and growing. And that maybe there are things that are less attractive about us. And there are things that are more attractive about us. Example, I am more confident than I've ever been. And I know that y'all are probably surprised about that because my confidence has been on a thousand for a minute. So, <laughs> you know, but, and I think that that is probably the most sexy thing about me. So, and it's getting better all the time. So I feel like I'm a better catch now than I was at 21 and 25. I, we won't go, I, I would, wait a minute, Roger in the uh, audience, he's had a question because we almost at the end of this show, but we're gonna come back with part two. So uh, go ahead, Roger. Okay, it's not a question, it's a statement. Uh, myself, I, I'm, on a, I'm in the dating world. I do the POF, Black People Meet thing. And uh, I've been called vain. I don't know why I've been called vain. I've been called vain because I like feet. I'm a foot guy. Now here's the deal. I'm telling you, when it comes to preference, I'm sorry, preference is first and foremost for me. I lost a friend. I knew her for like seven, eight years. Back in the day, we blah, blah, blah. But then we became friends. She got upset with me because she really wanted to be with me, right? I told her, I only be with a woman who's making a level income that I'm making. Oh, wow. So if I'm making above blah, 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 because I got a pretty good job, and I'm a musician, so I make money from being a musician. I want somebody close to that. I'm not trying to take care of anybody else. I'm 55 years old. Yeah, I done been through the ring. I done been in the Navy. I done served. I done did everything I had to do. Now it's my time at 55. I'm going to have a preference. I'm not going to feel bad for having a preference. So if I have a preference because I want somebody with pretty feet, you can, do, you can be a dime straight up. Your feet go nickel with me. Because I'm a foot guy. That's what I do. Now, they'll say, well, you, may, you might be missing a good woman because you're you basing everything be. on it. Well, that's just too bad. I'm just going to miss that woman because I want what I want. And I'm going to get what I want. Woo! I've always gotten what I want. And if I got to pursue what I want to get, and I got to have a preference to do that. Now, my brother's good. I'm a believer. So I'm with that, too. Everything goes up to the heavenly for me. And I, I expect him to give me what I want. But I expect him to know I have a judgment as to what I want to be with. See? You might say, well, you deal with that. I'm like, well, her feet ain't hanging. I can't do it this time, Pop. I need to move on. And that's the way I got to go, because I'm a foot lover, foot rubber. And that's what I do. Well, no, well I just want to follow up with that. Because Shelly swears that that God is going to send her a big penis. Yes. So he mm. believes he that will. God is going to send him some, some beautiful feet. Yes. So God is out here granting wishes. So I'm going to go and I'm going to pray. That's all you got to do. Because eventually it's going to come around. Like I said, I'm going to believe in that. But I, I truly believe that, again, for me, uh, in this world of us trying to make sure that we take care of our financials, I don't, I don't want to be involved with someone. I'm not trying to be bougie. I may not work hard to get where I am and have that job I have. I, I can't take someone who's making 30G when I'm making Ba 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 ba. Then I got I got to, I got to bring you up. I like driving the pins. I like having that's a nice that. Well, well, we gonna come back with the next show. Uh, we gonna, no. the, you know what, Roger? Yes. We gonna come to the next show with that because I we got to talk. We got to talk Absolutely. about this. This is single on a Thank Saturday you. night right here at TGI Fridays. The next show is Michael Coles. I heard just family is the TV show. It's up and coming, and what he is is 24 children and two wives. That's next show. You need to come back. Stay tuned. Howard Gilliam Jr., the man with the camera in his hand, he's, he's getting ready for the Urban Expression 25th reunion. I think he's just worn out right now because he got a little frustration in his face, so I'm just going to go. Yay.